Kudakata ya giliana toke Ibobo kwa ibu ya toke Kwa ibu adoba on Apo tete na mso My brother, sister, mbukakada ubo Kwa ibu adoba on Shinyoyena sa Mepo doro na tuyo tiko na kwene Mbukakada ubo Kwa ibu adoba on Abodo na wubo kutumwa nyamu kwa na wubo kwa konsa Nibye ke mdakada Kwa ibu adoba on E yang nijana ubo Yang nijana toke Kila 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 kenyo Boro sete nye miko Kenyi ni nyo Kila nyo Mdakada Yang nijana toke Ibo kwa ibo Kwa ibo Adoba on I'm telling you Every day is not the same Today not today, no time to play Naka dam bok, no delay Ya mo tam nam for the day I thank the Lord for giving me a stand like a boy Mother is on the wall A boy boom, I do my own It is an incontrovertible fact that most parts of Akwaibum state are wearing new looks occasioned by the rapid and massive infrastructural expansion by the Udum Emmanuel led government. Perhaps it is only when one takes a drive outside Uyo, the state capital, that he would fully appreciate the efforts of the governor in creating a conducive business environment for the industrial revolution. Even the most ardent critic can attest that the ongoing transformation of Akwaibum state through infrastructural consolidation and expansion in rural and urban areas is at the fore of Governor Dumi Emanuel's developmental agenda with the constructing of economically viable and super highways to handle the influx of traffic into the state. One of the super highway projects embarked upon and completed is the construction of the 9.5 km 10 lane dual carriage express third ring road, christened Idongesebinkanga Avenue in Uyo, the state capital. The road, which is nearing completion, starts at the intersection of Aka Nungudo Road with the Good Luck Jonathan Boulevard, traverses Nungu Kuibesikbo, Afari Korubyongkan, Afari Tuk communities, all in Ibesikbo Asutan local government area, crosses Ifa and Biabong communities, and terminates in Ekamban Sukara community in Uyo local government area. Governor Emmanuel is not a general who mobilizes the army to go to war and stays behind. He takes the lead on all occasions, and this explains why he regularly inspects the road projects excellently managed by an indigenous contractor, Hensek Integrated Services. This is quite exceptional. And um, you see, this present government, we're trying to prove a point that our indigenous contractors can do as much better as European contractors, which is what we are proving here. You can't just limit their capacity to only small internal roads of 7.5, 10.5. No. Overstretch their limits. You see, in human beings, there are people, their best could come out when you overstretch, you know, their capacity questions. And that's what we did to Hensek as a company. And I'm sure the quality of what he has delivered here meet any international standard. To open up Mbak, Mbiabong and Ifatai Itoi communities to more economic activities channeled from the state capital, the construction of the road project was awarded to Hensek Integrated Services, an indigenous construction company in Akwaibum State totaling about 9.5 kilometers 
Ring Road 3 is one of the longest dual carriage roads in the metropolis, but it is also a model of a modern city furniture that other modern roads in the country may have to take after, and the use of an indigenous contractor itself explains Governor Dumi Manuel's demonstration of the Dakada philosophy. Akwaibom is expanding, Uyo is expanding. If we don't have this sort of roads, we won't be able to distribute traffic. And this has also boosted the economic activity. A lot of houses is springing up, estates are now springing up in this house so that anywhere you are, you can assess the city. And we open the city for commerce and for people to come in and invest. From the vision of His Excellency is the destination. In this country, I don't see, apart from Lagos, Abuja, this is one of the highly most sophisticated and well-planned city to allow citizens to come and have the good ambience, the security, and everything that can bring up somebody staying in a good environment. And I think uh, this is part of the road network we are trying to do in Akwaibom. By the time we finish this, we have already emptied people into the industrial sectors of the states. This one will make every person, when you are coming to you, you know that you are landing into a, a, the land of promise, and already the promise has already been fulfilled over the years. Indeed, the road has decongested the elongated traffic lines in and around Aran Road and provides alternate routes to other roads like Nwangiba, Akanungudo, and Goodluck Jonathan Boulevard, thereby making transportation to, from, and around the city easier and seamless. The beauty in the design of the road project can be seen in the exquisite crisscross of service lanes, street lights, speed breakers, walkways, three big roundabouts, and well carved pavements for safe driving and pedestrian movement. To tackle the menace of flooding in the area, the road project also comprises an underground tunnel that collects flood water all the way from Anwar Ford in Uyo to Timber Market in Ifa Ikorokbun and terminates at the Ibesipo Canal in Ibesipo Asutan local government area. One of the things we have captured on this run is that all the storm water that is created from the timber market end, 200 meters, we have taken all the water from that end, all the low points, into a pond in that axis. In this road, we have 5.6 kilometers underground drainage that takes away storm water. One to Ifai Korokbon at this end, the other one at the other end to the Julius Bega Canal. So that whenever it rains, you know that you are safe. We, are, we won't have any effect of storm water as far as this road is concerned. The Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer of Hensec Integrated Services, Engineer Owem Stephen Okoko, while explaining the rudiments of the road project embarked on by his construction company, revealed that the concept of the road was designed by Governor Odumi Manuel and thanked the Ministry of Works for a smooth collaboration. This road was uh, specifically conceptualized by His Excellency the Governor Emmanuel. The engineers will have to do the finishing touches, Ministry of Work and NSA. Um It was not conceptualized up from anywhere. It was just his vision of doing a separate railroad train. If you scout anywhere in Lagos, you will not see where you have median walkway, where people talk, median, you have three meters wide, three meters wide, both sides. Uh, fantastic. And then you have um, a service lane walkway. Um, and then you have an underground tunnel. The concept that was designed to also carry water, solve the flood problem of Ifa. Uh, solve the flood problem of uh, Biabong and um, Use. Now, all these places are dry. Railroad Tree Barrow Road is the largest water fountain. Silentale is the biggest and uh, most beautiful water fountain in the whole of Nigeria. It's a, a 60 meter diameter pond by 0 0.9 meters depth. And it has a combination of pumps up to 120 kVA. It's fantastic. Can lift water up to 50 meters high. Different combination of colors. Green Road Tree Barrow Road is the largest water fountain. Silentale is the biggest and uh, most beautiful water fountain in the whole of Nigeria. 
I stand to be corrected. It's a, a 60 meter diameter pond by 0 0.9 meters depth. And it has a combination of pumps up to 120 kV. It's fantastic. Can lift water up to 50 meters high. Different combination of colors. The construction of the 10 lane ring road has yielded economic benefits to indigenous and residents of the communities it traverses. Several small, medium and large-scale businesses have been established and situated along the new Ring Road project, which is an added boost for the growing economy of these communities and subsequently the state. Also, the compensations awarded for the lands and properties that were leveled to make way for the construction of the superhighway have enriched numerous individuals and families. Stunning parameter fencing and mini housing estates can be seen lining the growing metropolis which is said to experience the hustle and bustle of a new city. Residents and passers-by who narrated the former state of the road before its construction praised Governor Dumi Manuel for bringing development closer to the people through the new world-class road network. This road was so bad. There was no road before. The bad day was a, very, a little big sea. When nobody, no car passing around. No road here. So now, look at what we have here. Look at the runabout. And the waterfall, and the street lights, and the four lane. Everything is now looking good, smoothly. We have a four lane. All this kind of place. Before I used to see it in Lagos, Lekki, but now we have it in Uyoye, in Miabo, in my territory. So I thank our uh, present governor for what he has done for us. Yeah, before it was a bush, but today we thank God we have a nice route. We appreciate for what we do with Manuel have done in Ring Road 3. I'm the before we cannot enter, even a car cannot enter, even a bicycle cannot enter the road, but now it's working. Governor Dumi Manuel's vision to build modern city architectures in various cities of Akwaibu, like Ekit Oran, Ona, Uran, Etinan is clearly taking shape. These urban areas now have a modern outlook as a result of new road projects that are in various stages of development, courtesy of the lofty plans of the current administration. It is true that an elegant and artistic spectacle is always a delight to behold because its stunning views and mesmerizing sights ignite an euphoristic escape from stress for the onlooker. Like the fountains of Bellagio Hotel in Las Vegas, which is a signature attraction and one of the most photographed places in the United States. The Ring Road 3 boasts of an exquisite water fountain at the Oran Road axis and the Nnoku roundabout of the road project. The water fountain project, which is constructed by Mona Lisa Fountains as a partnership with NSEC Integrated Services, has consistently drawn crowds to witness its aesthetically appealing sights, colors, and sounds. It's a, a 60 meter diameter pond by 0 0.9 meters depth, and it has a combination of pumps up to 120 kV. It's fantastic. Can lift water up to 50 meters high. Different combination of colors. The water fountain is evidently a tourist attraction as visitors and indigents while traveling through the city of Uyo have the pleasure to enjoy the beautiful 
an alluring aquatic feature which is unrivaled in the south-south of Nigeria. People living on Oran Road and its environs described the water fountain aesthetics as a sight to behold and commended Governor Rumi Manuel for bringing what they see in the movies and in more developed cities to their doorstep. I'm so happy to see this um, water fountain. Like, you just look as if I'm in abroad. Like, it's so, so, so amazing. Because I see this um, on television, uh, abroad, you know, I see, I see it online. I've never seen it in, in, the, in Nigeria. So I'm so, so happy to see this in Aquaribom State. I'm so, so happy that he was able to do this great job. And thank you also to the Hensek for this amazing work. They really, really did well. I really appreciate them. Thank you, Governor. Udoni Mandwe, Anna Mete, Dino Yanoni, Dog Wabum. If we get Nanami Guze on him, I ain't in Brem, you told me. I got to me, Mandolanam. Don't get Ring Room, Kagasam Wangiba. In the Guinea Fallen, but you also look at Turem Brem. In the Minya Fallen, who's the model of Reverend? I'm one of the Brekim to do a common people, dozen of me, Motu, and you what? I'm one of the Jacob of Reverend Reverend, you know, you what? If I'm going to Rita, I'm going to Taka. Who's the more clear? In the Wadi Gubidim, you know, Dom Bonde, two thousand twelve, you get to Dom Botom. But in Brem, don't look at you. I had the water fountain. I don't say a friend where we all forget it. We'll get them into a group. The water fountain is all rest. The wrong road. Was that game for me? I said, Can I'm IIT? We are a very young man in Jesus Christ. Thank God for the governor, His Excellency Udom Emmanuel. I thank God for the construction company Hensek. They have transformed this place. I'm a traveler. I travel different states in Nigeria. and this is the first time I'm seeing this kind of water fountain. God bless Akwaibom, God bless the governor, Mr. Udom Emmanuel. God bless Mbanga, Udom Emmanuel, who is saying that I'm a Akwaibom. I am not a person who is saying that I'm a Akwaibom. I am not a person who is saying that I'm a Akwaibom. I am not a person who is saying that I'm a Akwaibom. I am not a person who is saying that I'm a Akwaibom. Ani ni ketu songa mi songa si ba ke Lagos aba ke biom makara ben frame ni ni mi ketu kwa ibom ni mi ketu ke ni mi ketu Koron Road so ba ayaba serio ngi ni ni mani ketu water fountain aro ni ni si ketu ke Lagos ben frame ni ni mi ketu kwa ibom anye nam afre frame po phone ke kwa ibom anye nam ni ni mi ya iwongi ni ke December mi iwongi ni ni ra ise na ngaba si nam. So we are going to be saving our homes. Imanduwa, Anamke, Kwaibom, Moya, we are so so. I don't know any phone. Any reason to continue? Nam Trong Kaiso, Kenya, we are going to Jesus. Apart from the beautiful water fountain, other sites on the road are newly planted green terraces, some of which are already blooming along the sidewalk. Ring Road 3 also boasts of major streetlights passages which give the entire landscape a modern exotic feel. As commuters and the people of Uyo and Ibesipo Asutan are savouring on the exhilarating effects of the third ring road, commuters and residents in other urban centres in the state are doing the same. Governor Udomi Manuel took office with a clear vision to industrialize Akwaibom State. Milestone by milestone, he's bringing that vision to life through massive investments in quality education, accessible health care, agriculture and infrastructure, new roads and bridges linking communities to opportunities. Facilities designed for the world's leading businesses and factories established through partnerships to create jobs and add value to the economy. We're building a bright, inclusive future where Aquaibon stands as the gateway to the region and the hub for West Africa. 
We're committed to that vision, and we're well on our way to arriving at that destination. The 20 kilometer Uyu Etinan Road, which commences with the 1 kilometer flyover project and the Etinan Roundabout Park. The 25 kilometer Uyu Ikorekbene Road, which cuts through Itu, Ibionibum, Esenudim, and Ikorekbene local government areas. The Ekbenukba and Mpok cable bridges that adorn the 29 kilometer Etinan Duni Uyu Road and the urbanization of Ekit with modern utility and infrastructure. But the governor is not resting on his oars, as he vigorously pursues his dream of opening up the state capital for economic activities. Work is accelerating on the expansion of the Uyo Airport Road, from a four-lane dual carriageway to a ten-lane boulevard. The construction and expansion of the expressway means that the imposing structures and multi-million Naira buildings on the right-of-way had to give way. This comes with the homongous compensations paid to the property owners. And so gradually, the narrow 21-kilometer dual road that used to be occasioned by congestions as people rushed to meet up deadlines at the Victor Atta International Airport is now becoming a massive expressway. Obviously, those who used to suffer undesirable consequences of missing their flights can now heave a sigh of relief. Incidentally, the road crisscrosses the 10-lane Third Ring Road project. It has been noticed that new businesses, estates, and other forms of economic activities are now springing up on the new Third Ring Road, even before its commissioning. And this has triggered excitement for residents, including the chairman of the local government area, Dr. Uwemedi Mo Udo. I actually know how this place used to be um, when I moved in that if I got a bone axis of Uyo. Uh, leading to Mba and then the Wangiba axis and um, of course the Besibo axis leading to Nongoku. So I know how this place used to be, a uh, very terrible road to, to ply uh, and uh, in fact actually there was no road. We had um, a narrow undulating path here filled with water, heavily flooded and so on and so forth. So when I came in here I was praying that um, such a time will come when the administration of His Excellency will uh, remember these communities. And of course, in my lifetime, I'm a witness because I, I live off the Ring Road, uh, Uye, Uye Heaven Estate, to be precise. I've seen the transformation that has taken place in this area. I've seen the water being taken off. I've seen dual carriage thoroughfare being created. So, in essence, this is a life-touching project that impacts directly on the lives of the people who used to live here. Recently, Governor Emmanuel flagged off the construction of a housing estate on the new ring road for judicial workers, while other estates are currently also springing up. Governor Emmanuel's strategic approach to simultaneously work on land, air and sea infrastructure is a fulfillment of his campaign vision to open a quibum to industrial growth and tourism. For the governor, if Singapore would rise from being a backwater state to an industrialized first world country, a quibum state today stands at the intersection of such a giant leap. 
Just as Lee Kuan Yew did in Singapore, Governor Odomi Manuel is doing it in Akwaibum State, and the result is available for everyone to see. Don't waver, don't.